Safe ba to? Hindi na ano. Oh. Safe na safe. <laughs> Hindi ako maka-Indian sit kasi nakaslap sa ko. <laughs> Hindi ko. <laughs> I mean, la eh, di kaya eh. Ganyan na lang. <laughs> Rolling na ba yun? Okay na? Begin house tour. <laughs> di kaya, ng pants ko. <laughs> Today, we will be going around this house and lot for sale in Phil Invest 2, Quezon City. But first, make sure you hit like, click, subscribe, and click on the bell so you get notified for whenever we release new YouTube videos. We're on Facebook, so make sure you hit like and see first and follow us on Instagram at presello underscore official. My name is Julia and welcome to another presello open house tour. Now, as you can see from the road, this is a corner lot so you can access it from both roads now the one on your left will be your vehicle gate and then the one here on the right is the pedestrian gate which we will now go through so as we enter you will see first and foremost your main entrance na nakabukas na <laughs> but you have this garden here in the corner but they currently have used it as a drying area for their clothes that explains the drying rack you can also sneak a peep at the oh, vehicle car port. There is a doggo who isn't very fond of us, so we're not going to go there yet. <laughs> okay, and then on the right side, which came as a surprise to us when we entered, because like, oh wow, there's a swimming pool. There's a swimming pool in the corner, and you have your lanai over here for chilling out. And then this is a table and seat set, so when you open this up, you just hang out here, especially at night, right? That's gonna be pretty, pretty awesome. You have a water feature, it's just not turned on right now, but as you can imagine, water is gonna spout from the slit from the rock wall. And then over here, we have access to the side of the house. But for now, let's go through the main entrance. Okay. So the first area that will greet you is your living area. Now it's quite spacious. You have here a baby grand piano in the corner just to demonstrate how big this area is. Lots of windows and then seating. Actually open area naman tong ground floor. So your living area, dining, and then your family area and kitchen form a sort of T shape. So it's all very... Um, Kumbaga, kung nakaupo ka dito, you can still uh, talk to the ones in the living area or the receiving area. So it's a it's an open space without feeling too bare. <laughs> it still has compartments, kumbaga. Open compartments, if that makes sense. Alright, so this is your family area. It's where the TV is, etc. And again, you have huge windows. And this one is the sliding door that goes out to the living area. So if you were to entertain guests, have this open up for a party, what have you. You can have that indoor-outdoor situation. Cool stuff. Okay, so again, your dining area, huge. 
square table that fits eight right now, more, depending on how you want to sit on a bench like this or on a booth like that. And then here we have the kitchen. We have an island counter with your stove and your hood, and then this raised area for your bar, and then an L-shaped uh, storage <laughs> counter. So lots of storage on this side, basically, and then your sink over here. Actually, you don't surface dito to work with, but I mean, let's just let's just count it as an L-shaped storage system. <laughs> and then you have your built-in oven, and then your microwave just on the surface. Shelving, and then provision for your refrigerator. That door leads out to the daily kitchen as well as the staff quarters, but we're not going to go there anymore because the dog grows in that area. <laughs> Okay, before we head up, we have a sliding door over here from, from the receiving or living area. And this one they used as storage. However, it is a theater room. So as you can tell by the colors, the ceiling is also designed for acoustics, huge TV, etc. So just imagine what you can do with a space like this. So, you don't want to in the storage again because they don't really need the space right now. But what would you do? Comment down in the section, or comment in this, comment in the comment section below. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. And finally, the last room in this area: the guest toilet and bath. So you have your sink and your water closet, as well as that really nice accent wall. Okay, let's now head up. But might I remind you to hit like and click subscribe. And if you need help selling your property, simply go to our website and look for the tab, sell my property. I love this corner window. It brings in so much natural light towards the hallway. And since this is a corner a lot, you can basically see your neighborhood from here. And it's just, it's really nice. They don't really see you either. Because, of course, when it's daytime, you can see it in the room. Of at night, we're going to have to put the, or roll the curtains down. Okay, so from the stairs, we have here bedroom number one. We have a lot of space. Now, this being a road-facing room, you do have a lot of windows. Corner windows, even. It's just, you know, full of curtains right now. <laughs> Lots of space for your king-sized bed, your entertainment. You have a built-in uh, wardrobe right here. And then you have your ensuite, toilet and bath, with your sink, water closet, and enclosed shower space. Now, if it looks like I'm blending in with everything, it's because everything is black. Well, at least the walls are. I love it. <laughs> okay, and then right next to bedroom number one, we have a bodega. I love how it's written on the <laughs> handle. It's your storeroom. So I have seen it in there, lots of personal items, but you can imagine it's a room with shelves for your stuff. All right, and then bedroom number two. So let's check this one out first. So it's a different theme. You still have a lot of space for your king-sized bed. You have this argyle um, accent wall violet curtains for you know to match the rest of your room entertainment shelf a walkthrough closet so this entire thing area is your oh, okay there's no, there are no lights <laughs> is your wardrobe and then you have an ensuite toilet and bath this time i'm blending in a little less because the walls are cream white unfortunately there are no <laughs> bumps but yeah so your sink your water closet and then your enclosed shower space Go through this one first. I'm sorry. <laughs> and here we have bedroom number three. So this one is also road facing, but instead of having more windows, well, technically it still has a lot of windows because this is a huge window that is a corner window. And then this is the built in wardrobe that's flush against the wall, but fitted with floor to ceiling mirrors. So it looks like a window because it's bouncing off of light. But this one actually has a sliding door. Please excuse the personal items. 
and it has access to a balcony at the corner of your property. Well, almost perfectly at the corner of your balcony, which again enables you to see the rest of your neighborhood. And again, it's in Philinvest too. So nice and wide roads, quiet, good community. Very hilly. In certain areas of the subdivision, you can see mountains, the Antipolo Mountains or something. Uh, when I say or something, more greenery. That's not necessarily Antipolo Mountains. <laughs> and then this one, okay, well na rin ilo dito, but this is your aunt's sweet toilet and bath with your wardrobe space, water, closet, sink, and enclosed shower space. And take note, this one is really high ceiling. Although, baka hindi na kita. And finally, you have bedroom number four, the master bedroom. Okay, so let's look at the right side first. So in here, we have a bit of office space. So we have some storage, a PC setup. And then here, you have the ensuite toilet and bath. You have your enclosed shower space, a hot tub for two, <laughs> your sink, and then your water closet. So it's a little under construction right now, but I'm on the ISC. So it might look a little different when you see it for yourself. And then here we have the walk-in closet area. <laughs> it's nice because there's a vanity at the end, and then you have mirrors on either side. Made up it's John Mctago. <laughs> and then this is the actual bed space area. Still, you can fit in a desk, an office, etc. Your entertainment, more built-in shelves, a couch. And a huge king size bed. I believe this is California king size bed. It's, it's a king size bed. It's pretty spacious. You can still roll around in here and exercise. Actually, they do have the exercise. Uh, what with these um, modular dumbbell things? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know what they're called. Comment down below if you know. But yeah, so that's two stories and more numbers for you as we do the recap. You have 450 square meters of floor area and 339 square meters of lot area. Four bedrooms, five toilet and baths, and a two vehicle carport that we did not get to see because there's a husky. I mean, he's adorable and all, but we don't want to disturb his space. <laughs> you have, again, two stories, a theater room here on the ground floor. Actually, if you didn't need a theater room, room you could probably convert it into a regular bedroom if you wanted to. And then a huge open space layout for the ground floor. And then a swimming pool at the corner of your property, which actually your entire property is on the corner of this subdivision. Well, not the entirety of this subdivision, but you get it. It's a corner a lot in a nice subdivision, which again is Phil Invest 2 in Quezon City. So if you're anyone you know is interested in a place like this, send this video to them. Or if you want to see it for yourself, send us a message or go to our website at www.preseller.com. Invest in your future. Invest with us. Invest with Preseller. Hey guys, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, make sure you click here. And if you want to see more house tour videos, click right here. And we also have this new thing called Working Lunch with Priscilla, where I and a few random people talk about a few random things related to uh, real estate. So if you want to join in on the conversation, make sure you click right here.